Alright guys, welcome to another beer review. Um, recording three beer reviews in a row because hopefully the night of recording this is doing another chat with um, a couple of the fellow beer tubers. So I always like to get reviews out of the way and then drink the beers as I go through the night. Um, but yeah, if it does happen, links are down below and uh, yeah, maybe you watched it, maybe it did happen, I don't know. But um, yeah, I got three beers. I'm not going to do them all in one video. I'm going to do individual ones. And the first one is Black Pearl Classic Porter from. Who is this now? The Distelhäuser Brewery here in Germany. And yeah, this is their Classic Porter clocking in at 5.5%. Uh, this uses Pilsner malts, Munich malts, caramel malts, um, mine's gone blank, um, half a malts, I'm just going to say it, and then the hops used are Goldings, so yeah, I'm expecting this to be really nice and desserty, rich and inviting, and uh, yeah, not tried anything from these guys. But this is one of the few beers that is available, well, craft beers that is available in one of the supermarkets in the city. And uh, yeah, so all done really cheap, and it'd be you know good to get them all done for review at some point. But anyway, Black Pearl Porter definitely smells British out the bottle. I know that's such a blanket statement, but. You definitely pick up that caramel malt. Pick up some oats in there as well. And yeah, um, I'm not sure if it is, but because I've, I've read Goldings, I'm sure I'm picking up that hop. It's not a massive hop or anything like that, but yeah, it smells like a British real ale. But anyway, let's pour the beer into the glass. I'm not going to use all of it, so then I can put the cap back on the bottle. But um, yeah, very, very, very carbonated there. And not black, but it's got a really dark, intense, ruby, sort of mahogany sort of colour. And the head, very tiny in this glass, obviously, is a nice tan coloured head. Um, slightly reminds you of um, the foam you get in coffee, actually. But yeah, you can really hear the carbonation in there. Now, yeah, it looks rich and inviting. Bubbles cling to the side of the glass, which, you know, because the glass hasn't been cleaned properly, it's a bitch to clean this. Because it's so thin and it gets thinner at the bottom. Anyway, it looks good, looks like a porter, it looks dark, deep and intense. There's like a slight film as you swirl it around the glass. But yeah, let's give it a sniff. I'm getting almost like a, a cola sort of aroma. Very, very malty. That cocktail of malts, you can pick out each one. Especially that like Munich malt, that sort of like Heller's sort of malt. But then it's offset really nicely with this like oaty caramel character. Slight chocolate in there as well. And I'm getting some dark berries in there. But yeah, it smells rich. Let's give it a taste. Cheers. actually a little bit sweeter the caramel comes through a little bit more and definitely a bit more oaty as well sort of like you've got oats soaking in milk you're not getting like lactose quality but it's got that sort of sensation on the palate um, it's got a nice body not too light it's got a nice medium body to it Very bitter, there's a slight smokiness there as well. And it sort of almost feels like it leaves a film on the tongue after you've finished it. So it lingers there on the palate. And it's not unpleasant at all. It's not the most exciting porter I've ever tried. Um, but it's solid enough. And um, I'm not the biggest fan of porters, so 
I'm biasedly critical against the style sometimes. It's like with wheat beers, they have to do something really special for me to really enjoy it. But this is actually a well-balanced standard porter. Um, and for a German porter, for a German take on the porter, they've done a really good job with this one. Not the best, like I've said, but very, very solid indeed. And uh, yeah, it's got this sort of like Britishness about it. Because I think it is fundamentally a British style of beer. But um, yeah, this be perfect towards the end of the night as it's closing down. Because you can take your time with it. Carbonation is a little bit heavy, I will say that. But uh, yeah, all in all, very, very solid. So I could happily give this one a 7 out of 10. So that was Distel Heuser's uh, Black Pearl Handcrafted Classic Porter as part of... I think they... I'm not sure if they're already like a traditional brewery. Didn't really do too much research. Uh, it's not the best rated beer on Rate Beer, but the score from what I remember that it got, uh, it definitely deserves a lot more. But um, yeah, if you like your porters and you want just a nice porter to sit back and enjoy, then definitely, definitely give this one a go. So, thank you guys for watching. If you want to find out more about this beer and the brewery, links are down below. And I hope you will join me for another beer review. Cheers.